India is fast-tracking an 800 km variant of the BrahMos supersonic cruise missile, featuring an upgraded ramjet engine and enhanced INS-GNSS navigation for submeter accuracy and anti-jamming resilience. Set for deployment by 2027, the extended range missile strengthens India's precision strike and deterrence capabilities amid regional tensions. Seamless integration with naval, air, and ground platforms ensures rapid induction, marking a major leap in India's pursuit of long range, conventional, high speed precision warfare dominance. DRDO is upgrading the Astra Mk 2 BVR missile from 160 km to plus 200 km by refining its dual-pulse rocket motor and using trajectory shaping or lofting, which allows the missile to cruise in a fuel-conserving ballistic arc during mid-course flight before reigniting for a terminal sprint. Trials at Chandipur are underway. Production could start mid-2026 with operational induction by 2027. About 700 missiles are planned for Su-30 MKIs and Tejas Mk-1A, led by BDL, and a 50-plus partner domestic supply chain. A triple-pulse MK-3 concept, with a range over 300 kilometers, is being explored but may take longer. Kalyani Strategic Systems LTD KSSL, the defense arm of Bharat Forge, has won the L1 bid to supply 120 loitering munitions, 2,000 subtactical drones, and 720 FPV drones to the Indian Army. Valued in the hundreds of crores, the deal reinforces India's Atmanirbhar Bharat drone warfare strategy after earlier tender cancellations. These UAVs, ranging from surveillance to kamikaze variants, will bolster frontline capabilities, shaped by lessons from Operation Sindor, marking a major step in mass drone deployment. Astra Mk-3 is India's next-gen BVR air-to-air missile, using a solid fuel duct ramjet or SFDR to reach 350 km and Mach 4.5. Weighing 220 kg and 4M long, it features a gallium nitrate AESA seeker, lock-on after-launch, mid-course data link and improved electronic counter-countermeasure for resilient targeting. Ground tests cleared propulsion and seeker. Live-fire trials start late 2025. DRDO and industry aim for production approval by 2028, squadron deliveries around 2030, integrated on Su-30 MKI and Tejas Mk-2. DRDO's Vehicle Research and Development Establishment VRDE has unveiled an unmanned turret featuring a 30mm Shipunov 2A42 autocannon 12.7mm NSVT machine gun, and advanced fire control system, likely the Saffron Paseo EO site. Designed for the wheeled armored platform and advanced armored platform programs, the remote-operated module boosts crew safety and precision. With modular support for ATGMs like Conker's M, it marks a major leap in India's push toward autonomous, high lethality armored systems. DRDO is developing a compact radio frequency, system on chip based radar warning receiver processing unit to enhance India's electronic warfare capabilities. Building on the Drudy RWR used on Su 30 MKI jets, the new system integrates RF front ends, ADCs, and digital processors into one chip, reducing size and power needs while boosting performance. Featuring real time threat detection, software defined adaptability, and platform scalability. It aims for trials by 2027 and operational deployment by 2030. India's DRDO is preparing to test the VUNI, a hypersonic glide vehicle capable of Mach 21 speeds and ranges beyond 5,500 km, powered by Agni base boosters, and leveraging HSTDV scramjet breakthroughs, the VUNI will deliver nuclear or conventional payloads with unpredictable maneuverability, evading modern air defenses. Expected to debut by late 2025 and reach operational readiness by 2028, this program positions India among global hypersonic powers, significantly strengthening deterrence against China and Pakistan, 
while boosting indigenous aerospace innovation. India's Defense Ministry has returned the IAF's proposal for acquiring 114 multi-role fighter aircraft, deeming it incomplete and demanding stronger indigenization commitments from Dassault Aviation, maker of the Rafale. The government insists that over 75% of production occur in India, potentially through a Dassault HAL or Tata partnership with a new assembly line. While 20 to 30 jets may arrive in flyaway condition, the rest must be locally built to boost defense manufacturing under Atmanirbhar Bharat, channeling rupees 50,000 crore into aerospace MSMEs, and establishing India as a key Rafale production hub. A senior IAF official has revealed that the Tejas MK2, officially designated LCA AF MK2, will serve as a critical bridge between the Tejas MK-1A and AMCA, sharing limited compatibility with the former, but deep technological synergy with the latter. Classified as a medium-weight fighter, the 18-ton jet is considered a 5-generation aircraft, boasting AMSA-derived avionics, AI-enabled sensor fusion, and a GEF-414 engine. With first flight slated for 2026 and production by 2031, the IAF plans to induct up to 210 MK2s by 2040 to replace aging MiG-29, Jaguar, and Mirage 2000 fleets. Air Chief Marshal A.P. Singh has confirmed the IAF's full backing for DRDO's GATAC UCAV as efforts accelerate to secure Cabinet Committee on Security approval for an initial $500 million funding round by March 2026. Developed by ADE under DRDO, the 13-ton stealth combat drone, powered by a 49 kN Kaveri derivative engine, will feature internal weapon bays, a 1,000 km combat radius and man-on-man -man teaming capability with Su-30 MKIs and Tejas jets. With 150 units planned, GATAC will serve as a cost-effective loyal wingman, ahead of AMC MK2's induction. That's all for today. Hope you liked this video. Please like, share and subscribe for daily news updates. Thanks for watching.